Well, I was doing pretty good, but it was bound to happen. I missed a step and it was kind of an important one. Before browning the barrel, I should have uh, test fit these sights. So I, they, of course they don't fit. And just like the barrel tenons, I'm gonna have to go back and file out some of this dovetail, just a touch. All right, that wasn't very dramatic. We just had to take a teeny little scrape off of there. So we've got the site started and uh, we put it in the bench block here and use our brass punch. All right, we got our front sight centered up and where is it? Back sight centered up. So uh, what else do we got? We're about ready to put this thing together. Let's do it. All right, we're so close to putting this thing together, but since I just can't leave well enough alone, I, I hate this bright sheen, this glossy sheen on this uh, stock. The color came out all right. Uh, the If you could feel it, it's super smooth. And um, I've just been putting a coat of true oil on it, just a time, we're talking a few drops and then rub it in every day or two for like the last two weeks. And it's working, but it's just too shiny. I don't like it. All right, so I'm gonna use a little of my red oil. All right, that's my um, alkanet root and uh, infused linseed oil. And then I've got that, that uh, powdered pumice stone. Here, I'm just gonna dip some in there. Yeah, and uh, I guess we're just gonna see what happens. You don't wanna push very hard. I don't wanna cut through the finish. I just wanna take it down to a kind of a satin luster, not that high gloss that it had, so. When is enough enough? Uh, anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to continue this across the whole rifle and then uh, we'll wipe it down and see if I didn't ruin it. All right. Yeah, I told you I was an expert. That probably looks the same on the camera, but I'm telling you, it's a much more satin finish, way less glossy. So, yeah. Hey, man. That pumice and uh, and some... Oil, we'll put that in the wind category. I like it. Let's put it together. Well, there it is. A completed muzzle loader. Traditions Shenandoah. So I can't leave well enough alone. Um, I went ahead and pulled the steel screws there were blued screws for this for the uh butt plate for the toe plate i pulled those out and put brass screws in um you know we've got some apprentice gaps here and there that i could have done a little better with the inletting but i think for attempt number one I'm okay with it. You know, I could have done the epoxy with uh, wood sawdust trick, you know, to fill that gap, or the right thing to do would be just, just keep inletting until you have a nice, clean edge. But at some point, you know, and I'm kind of constrained by time with the class, every week this stuff has to get turned in on time. This inletting looks pretty good. Um, but, you know, if, if time wasn't a constraint, I would have gone back and, and readjusted those things. And I might still. Uh, or I might just shoot it and call it good. Anyway, it's all done. So thanks for watching. So I loaded it up with 100 grains of uh, double F777. Uh, and uh, a... 50 caliber round ball and a traditions pillow tick patch.
and that set trigger works amazingly. Yeah, I was really excited that I didn't blow myself up. So that was the first shot. And then uh, after getting it sighted in, that's 50 yards. You know, with a little more practice, we can do a lot better than that, I'm sure. But, you know, overall, I'm pretty happy with it.